I took a gold pan and a shovel to a pristine Australian creek where gold was discovered back in 1855. This is a giant waste rock pile. Surrounded by the old timers workings, I set about finding the right section of creek. It had to be not too wide. It had to have exposed bedrock because that's where gold collects. And because gold's so heavy, I needed fast water to be sure it was concentrating in that part of the creek. This spot looks about right. It's really narrow, there's exposed bedrock, and the water's fast. All of that concentrates good gold usually. With a rich history of gold in the area, and the right elements to concentrate golds in this particular spot, I was hopeful I was going to see some colour. But what I ended up seeing, I was not expecting. This shattered bedrock would be absolutely jam-packed full of gold. All this clay, mud and dirt stuck to the side of the piece of bedrock is where the gold hides in the tiny cracks. So you've got to wash it off so you can release the gold and pan it out. And don't worry, I always check my classifier for nuggets. There's always a lot of excitement on the first pan on a new creek because you never know what you're going to find. <laughs> that spot is going to be good because I've already got real nice gold coming out in the corner of the pan. If I'm getting those kind of flakes already with just a shovel, I can't wait to hand dredge it. This was the moment that I knew I was in for a really good day on the creek. Oh, they are nice pieces. I know it doesn't look like much, but what you're currently looking at is about five bucks in gold. And with that much in just my first pan, I set about working that spot to get every bit I could and I immediately grabbed my hand dredge to suck the gold off the bottom of the bedrock where it would have been hiding in all the little nooks and crannies. A hand dredge creates a vacuum that sucks the gravel up off the bedrock where your shovel would normally just skate over the top of it. And that allows you to get every last piece of gold off the bottom of the creek. I did manage to suck up one small dragonfly larvae, which I safely returned to the creek soon after. But the prospect is paranoia was growing. Sometimes you get pockets of gold and then nothing immediately afterwards. I was hoping for two things, to be able to find more than one pan of good gold and have a new creek to be able to prospect for the next year. This is the gold game and there are never any guarantees about how much gold you're gonna get. <laughs> ah, we're still on it. Those are some nice flakes. Seriously started to wonder how much more gold's gonna be down there. I spent the next 20 minutes panning and every single one was coming up full of gold. And with limited daylight left, I got to work getting as many pans done as possible. Spent an hour panning and in my last pan I got a little picker. He's not very big, but I can pick it up so it counts. Don't you just love finding little gold pickers like that? By the end of the day, I had a reasonable amount of pirate's booty. That's not bad for an hour's panning. That is not bad at all.